welcome to the Daily Preach on Monday. Checks the clock. Did you see that? Did you see the way I tried to do it like a cool dude? I was like, Monday, the 13th of August. Brofist to you all. Yes. Coming at you live from Mancunia. A lot of people ask where I'm from. I'm from the wonderful city of Manchester, England. That is where I live and I love it. It's a beautiful city. It's wonderful. It's all good. Mondays. And thank you all to you. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at those guys. Oh, lovely guys. I do love the daily chat. The daily preach has quickly become my most favourite thing to do. I absolutely love it. I love a bit of audience interaction. It's a beautiful way to, for me to end my working day. But Mondays are quickly becoming the most horrendous days of the whole week. Like, because of the daily preach. Mondays are a nightmare for me now. They're so bad. Why is that, you ask? I can see that question upon your faces. I can see it through the cam all the way across the globe. I can see you going, why is that, preacher? Why is that? Let me educate you. Let me throw some knowledge at you. The good thing about the Daily Preach is I do it five days a week. So in between now and 24 hours from now, I generally receive around about 10 or 12 emails. Mix that in with about six or seven direct YouTube questions. Quite a few bro fists, like you can see here. Special thanks to this one. Look at the effort this guy took in. Mini baller on the way. Looking a little bit like Spock. Nothing wrong with that. I'm down with Spock. The weekend, of course, is when you guys tend to have a lot more free time. And in your free time, you think, hey, I'm going to send Preacher a question and all that kind of stuff. So I wake up on a Sunday. I try to avoid YouTube on a Sunday. I try to stay a little bit relaxed, especially when I have to raid like now, right? I have to raid like a fucking baller. <coughs> you have to excuse me. I'm still really ill. Um, and I check the uh, messages. <laughs> and I get 95 to 100 emails and questions. And it's because I've missed the Daily Preach for two days. Combined with the fact that you guys have more free time to do stuff... It creates a complete shitstorm for me. What I would like to say is going forward, if you do have a question that you really, really want me to answer, probably not the best idea to send it at the weekend. Just saying, just putting that out there because I can't do like 100 questions. It's just impossible, even if they're really, really good questions. And then of course, after this, there'll be more and more questions. Um, so just bear that in mind. Funny thing happened to me today, a mini story. PayPal called me because we did our fundraiser last week. Um, we received around 50 or 60 donations, varying from, you know, $5, $10, to, to, to around 50 and a couple of, like, $100, which was pretty awesome. Um, they called me to make sure I wasn't, like, some obscene charity that was trying to take advantage of innocent people. Like, I had to pass all these fucking security questions, and it was like this Romanian chick. And I was working away. I've done two videos today. We've done an Orcs Must Die 2. You're going to get one of those every single day uh, leading us through Gamescom. Because obviously I won't be able to produce new up-to-date WoW content while I'm away. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of the... Uh, and you guys are really enjoying that stuff too. Which is fucking awesome. Uh, it's a brilliant game. I recommend you. And those videos are going to get even better as we unlock more traps and fight better enemies. So cool game. You should go and get it. It's really cheap. Um, so this like crazy, uh, it's crazy sounding Romanian woman phoned me. And she's like, hello, can I speak to Mike? Uh, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm Mike. What's up? Uh, and she says, it's PayPal. PayPal. And I'm like, mm, okay, what do PayPal want? I'm starting to get a little bit worried now because as an internet dude, my money goes through PayPal, right? Uh, she's like, you received some donations last week and it was like uh, an unusual amount. And I'm like, right. And she's like, why? <laughs> and she's like, what, do you represent a charity or something like that? I'm like, no, I was a bit of a charity case last week, I've got to be honest. And she's like, well, what's it for? And I was like, well, we're taking my team to Germany and we couldn't afford it. So we asked if people could help out and send us to Germany. Uh, and she's like, right. So when will these donations stop? I'm like, they stopped like three days ago. It's fine. You know, there's no more going in there. She's like, hmm. Well, this creates a suspicious activity on your account. We might have to close it. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, whoa, what are you doing? You can't do that. And she's like, well, we're just, we're just letting you know that, you know, we just need to make sure people aren't abusing charities and stuff. It was really scary. Totally fucking scary. My God, I was like, you can't just call me to do this. Anyway, she says, so it's, it's, got, it's like come to an end now, right? And I'm like, yeah, 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 it's fine. So whatever you do, don't fucking send me any donations. <laughs> How backwards is that? I'm like, no, don't, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's really bad. Um, yeah, so don't send me shit. Romania's pissed, dude. And when Romania gets pissed, I get scared because I don't want pissed off Romanians near me. I've played WoW with some Romanians. That shit gets fucking real, real quick. Uh, so be fucking away. Wait, wait. This happens day, man. This happens a fucking day. Uh, yeah, it was really such a weird phone call as well. Uh, let's get to some gaming news. Like I say, you get so many emails and stuff on a Monday. Oh, by the way, the Preaching Ghost Show this weekend. 
I'm so glad you guys are starting to understand what that's about. We have included the web show stuff. I do feel the web show has suffered a little bit. We talked after we did the show is that the web show, the old school stuff with us chatting backwards and forwards, needs a bit more thought. The thing is, the game show takes so much planning that we've while we've done the first two, we've had to plow a little bit of effort into making that happen. So we're going to definitely balance it out. We wanted to balance time. It was the first goal. Ghosty said, we need to make sure it's in a 30-minute slot of like the two-hour web show. Um, and we did that really well. I think it ran for 32 minutes. So we've got the time pretty much right. Now we just need to balance content. So we'll get there. Don't you worry about it. So we've got some gaming news. Uh, gaming news. Boof. All right. It's been a bit of a weird uh, weekend for games in general. Secret World, the MMO. A lot of you suggested that, you know, I try this game out. Didn't appeal to me at all. Like Secret World, I was like, nah, can't be asked. Uh, I've got Mr. Pandaria going on. We've got beta raiding got all the guys to do we got monk week coming up the first monk video is uploading as we speak it might even be out now uh but that has apparently been sort of the widespread feeling secret world is doing really badly and it's not cool funcom who makes secret world as shares have fallen by 84 percent ow ow and they're having layoffs and stuff they're getting rid of the staff which is really bad so the release of secret world has been pretty fail they're blaming meta cricket uh, metacritic uh, for their poor score of the game. They're putting all the blame on Metacritic. Who checks Metacritic? I want to see it in the comments. Do you guys go to Metacritic and make... Why can't I say that word? Metacritic and take those numbers to heart? Or do you check... Are you more modern? I think the more modern way of doing stuff is to check out the game yourself via YouTube or like live streams and stuff like that. See what you think of the game. I think that's the more younger approach of doing things. I have never been to Metacritic's website. It looks like shit. Some random word... I don't read... Are you kidding me? This is 2012. I don't fucking read. I read a book. I read a good story on my phone. That's how I live. Do you know what I mean? It's 2012, baby. <laughs> I don't go looking at some guy's review. I want to see the gameplay. I want to see if it looks appealing to me. I can look at a game for two seconds and say, oh, it's a third person RPG. Nah, I kind of already got a game like that. Oh, it's a fast paced FPS and that looks really cool. I want to play that game. I'm not even really interested in the review of the game unless it's interesting. I try and make the review like I did of Dead Space, and we're going to do more of that. More interactive and more fun. Show you a bit of gameplay and make it interesting. A flat-out review? Snorefest, man. Fucking Snorefest. But Funcom is saying, oh, made to critic ruined our game. Who the fuck is checking it? Of course Metacritic isn't some guy, you fucking idiot. I'm talking about the combination of reviews, word reviews. Fucking ghost here trying to get it together. <coughs> Excuse me, he's making me cough. That's how much he sucks balls, man. Ugh. Borderlands 2. Controversial. Controversial. Mm-hmm. Borderlands 2. So if you pre-bought Borderlands 2, like we're probably going to do, there's a four-pack there for about £90, so we're going to wait till we get paid and then hopefully pick that up for me, Ghost, Genji and Untrial so we can do a nice big four player co-op on that game. Um, what if you pre-bought it, you've got like the next DLC for free, which is a new class. It starts with four, they were going to add a fifth class, right? And this class was called the Macronomancer. Macronomancer. Okay, the Macronomancer class. I had to write that shit down, I can't fucking say it. So the Macrono <laughs> Macronomancer class was going to be added later as DLC, but if you pre-bought the game, you got it for free when it's released. You didn't get it with the launch, but when that DLC comes out, you're going to get it. Now, this class has been designed by Gearbox to be a shooter-friendly class. A class for people who aren't into FPS games and, you know, shooting things in general and not very good with their mouse. So they've made things like auto-ricocheting bullets, which means if you miss then you have a talent which can redirect the bullets to the mob you're trying to kill. So if you crap with a mouse, then you can generally get used to it because this this class will automatically let the bullets hit the target. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. I want to play with some people who aren't great with PCs. I've got a lot of friends who are great with consoles, are really good with a pad. You give them a mouse and keyboard and they're f all kinds of fucked up. They really are all kinds of fucked up. But these are fun dudes. These are really fun guys I want to play games with. But they look at mouse and keyboard and they're like, oh, that's like 100,000 fucking buttons. And then they look at my mouse, right, the Naga. And they're like, why has your mouse got like 18 billion buttons, let alone the keyboard? And they just look at it and they're like, oh, this is fucking terrible, right? Uh, so they made this class saying, you know what? You want a guy to play Borderlands 2 with? No problem. We'll put in the Macronomancer class. Got it in one. And it'll help them out. Some idiot developer during an interview called it the girlfriend mode. Ouch. Mm. 
1973 just called it wants its opinions back the girlfriend mode dude not cool not cool now you've just alienated everybody in the fucking world oh my god the girlfriend mode what the fuck were you thinking you fucking idiot my god it might be called that in the office an office full of gamers right who can all play a fucking shooting game fair play take the piss out of noobs the girlfriend mode in a public interview you fucking retard what the shit my god oh fail just so much fail oozing out of the body it's like oh dude so as you can imagine and we've proven with the preach gaming channel there are a million lady ballers out there there's tons of them they're all over the place i've played with girls consistently throughout my gaming career i really have them and they're getting more and more and more and more and they're <clears throat> Calling it the girlfriend mode is like just saying all girls are bad at games. Oh, dude, you just made such a fuck up. It's let, here, let me clue you in, Gearbox. People suck regardless of gender, okay? People are good regardless of gender. It's nothing to do with having a penis or a vagina that makes you good at games. It really isn't, right? Especially now because there's more and more girls playing fucking games. So now there is huge outrage and loads of controversy. I'm not buying Borderlands 2. Because it's got girlfriend mode. It's universally called girlfriend mode now. No one will ever be able to change that fucking... That stigma. That label that is attached to it. Girlfriend mode. How can they get rid of that now? It's been said. And it's spread through the internet like a virus. Dude. Get it together, man. Don't make stupid comments like that. What the hell? You might as well have called... You might as well have been racist. You might as well have been racist. Well, you were sexist for fucking sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> <coughs> He was sexist for sure, man. That is massive fail. I thought that was awesome, though. <laughs> what a retard. It's not going to stop me buying the game, though, because the game looks fucking awesome. So we've got some questions. Uh, there's no daily comment today. I went through another 170 comments, and there was none. None that, were, none that made me laugh, anyway. There's some really sad ones, but nothing that made me laugh. Um, okay. So this one came from Luca. Or Luca. I think it's Luca. I think he went for Luca, but it had, like, too many letters, maybe. But we'll go with Luca. Hello, Bala. Hello to you. Oh, one second. One second, one second, one second, one second. You know who I love? Kyle Gardner. Kyle Gardner, you're my baller. And you know what? Danielle owes me favours. Mm-hmm. Better get your shit worried. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, back to the Luca. I'm currently in one of the best guilds on my server that will be certain to progress through MOP. Awesome. However, I fear that I may not get enough or even any raid time as currently they are a 10-man raiding guild that already has a first-man team. Mm. Although looking to go 25-man. Mm. Should I stick it out and see if I indeed get any raid time progression with the guild or try to find a new guild or le that's less renowned to get some first-team raiding? Yeah, a couple of fails in there. A couple of fails in there. One, we're looking to go 25. That very rarely happens without a guild merge. Seriously, I've seen so many guilds who look to go 25. It's bullshit. Uh, it's, that's people saying, I would like to go into a 25-man raid. I would like to drive an Aston Martin. I pretty, would, I pretty much would like to do that. I'm looking to get an Aston Martin. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen. So instantly scratch that idea if you're thinking, well, if they go 25-man, then I'll get in the raid. If they do, it's going to be a guild merger, and they're going to bring like 10 or 12 people with them. They've already got like 10 or 12 first team raiders. That leaves one spot, if possible, at best. You're going to be fucked. You're going to be fucked. Um, so I assume you've not been a raider in this uh, guild. Are, are you a friend? Are you a friend? There's a lot of friend people, you know, like uh, in Darkstorm where I was raiding. Genji was in the guild. He was a friend rank. He wanted to raid at some point, but he was a friend rank. So there's a reason you're not in the number one raid team. But you want to be a raider being a casual rank in a guild is kind of bad um, especially if you get in there to try and make friends and then raid later the problem is as a casual rank is you generally don't know the inner workings of the guild they might be recruiting your class you won't know about it most people won't know about it somebody might be sucking balls officers generally have their own forum and in there they slag people off wrong <coughs> being an officer for many many years i've seen this happen um they just really moan about people. They look to replace them. And then suddenly, somebody of your same class will apply. And they will get accepted. And you'll be thinking, 
Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> you know, that was my opportunity. I didn't even know they were recruiting. I've well fucked it up. So I assume you're some kind of friend rank or like a backup or something like that. What I would do is I would certainly apply, like make a formal application, or if you're already as a raider and not looking, not looking to be picked for the raid team, it's probably time to move on. But if you're a friend rank, make a proper application, speak to an officer beforehand, always key. If there's an officer online and you are a friend rank looking to become a raider, openly speak to um, an officer first and then make a full application as if you weren't already in the guild. Because people who are casual ranks essentially are not actually part of the guild. They carry the guild tag, that's for sure, but you're not actually part of the raiding team and nobody considers you to be part of the raiding team. So two sides of it, one you're already a raider who's not in the main team, then it's probably time to move on because they're unlikely to be going 25 man and if they do, they're going to have to guild merge and you probably still won't get a spot. If you're a friend rank, speak to an officer first, then make a full proper baller textbook application. Go ahead and do that, you'll be in good shape. That's awesome. Uh, I got another one here from the Ruffle Turtle. <laughs> I think I've had a question from the Ruffle Turtle before. Uh, <laughs> because he's like the Ruffle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. We have done this, haven't we? The Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Ruffle. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, he's just come back uh, to WoW and he got hacked. And he's wondering, what the hell do I do? Common situation for so many people to get stuck when you've been hacked and logged back in. Ghost was in a similar situation. When he finally reactivated his account, he'd been hacked. Uh, what do you do? Do you re-level? Do you... Do you make a new character? Do you grind quests? Because you can quest naked, it's been proven. Uh, no, you just contact Blizzard. Press that question mark that's on your screen that you don't really know what it does. It's open a ticket to Blizzard and say, Dude, I've been hacked. Can I have my gear back? They're generally pretty quick about it these days. It takes about 24 hours. It's not too bad. Uh, do that. If they can turn you down, if you were hacked ages and ages ago, they haven't got your backed up data. Um, so, if that case, you're going to have to do some quests, get some greens, jump in some dungeons, and just start afresh. But luckily... Mr. Pandaria is around the corner, so you're not going to be in too bad shape, so don't worry about it. Don't panic, don't do anything crazy. Try and get your st stuff back off Blizz. If not, go do some quests. And it's quite fun to do them naked as well, for a, a short while. I'm not recommending the Iron Man Challenge or anything retarded like that. Uh, I'm not down with the Iron Man Challenge, but you can do that, so it's no problem at all. Uh, let's jump on to another question, and then we'll take your questions from here. Uh, da -da -da -da. <clears throat> oh, God, my throat is terrible. Uh, preacher, <laughs> this is pretty funny. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, he's become a much, this this chap has been watching my videos and become a much better player. He was a all oh, right, okay, sorry. Um, he found his he found the channel a few weeks ago. He was a BM hunter. He was getting carried from guild to guild. Okay, uh, usually never out DPS the tanks. Side please. Uh, I played the game for over a year at this point. Oh, that sucks, dude. Uh, and figured that as long as I didn't screw anything up, I'd be okay. Finally, I found a guild that accepted me. So I assume you were joining guilds and getting kicked a lot and all that kind of stuff. Fail. Uh, and they tried to teach me a be to be a better player without getting too mad and kicking me out. So cool, you found a guild that was like, hey, this guy might have some potential. I always look for that in new players. When I was recruiting, I always looked to see if they did something different. They could cope with the situation. There's a difference between a, a tank dies and a warlock who seduces a mob quickly, soul burns a fucking seductress out. <clears throat> a succubus CCs one mob fears another death coils another and then starts putting slows and stuff on another one same with the other rest of the classes they blind mobs and stuff like that that's what I want about the DPS rotation anybody can learn that eventually but if they've got the willpower to know and not just run out of the dungeon and leave everybody to die that's what I look for one of them redirected me to a swifty PvP video As a BM hunter? For PvE? Moving on. <coughs> wrong! Wrong! Yes, the ballers are correct. Fucking wrong. Uh, nothing wrong with Swifty's PvP video. I'm not sure you're going to learn much about a BM hunter uh, PvE rotation in a Swifty PvP video. Just saying. Uh, I'm not sure why in brackets. I'm not sure either. Neither is this massive chat. <laughs> the chat is being spammed now with why. <laughs> uh, and luckily, one of the links on the side brought me to your channel. Oh, yeah. All right. Good stuff. Uh, and you watch them. Now, this is an interesting situation. This is why I wanted to bring this question up because it's a really interesting situation. Enough storytelling, says, says our friend Pip. 
The problem is, is that um, I actually got too good <laughs> from my videos. Ah, so oh, it hurts, doesn't it? Since I rose my level of play, the people around me haven't progressed at the same level, and I've now have gone beyond them. We're only three out of eight heroic progress. Uh, weekly, more chalk, your sergeant, and Ultraxian farm. Why no Zonos? Why are you no Zonos? Why are you no Zonos? Usually do Zonos before your sarge. Maybe I'm changed. Uh, but have given up, and I'm not even attempting to raid anymore. In bold. Bold font, baby. Fuck yeah. Bold font. Uh, I know your immediate reaction. Do you? Do you know my immediate reaction? Do you? I don't think you do. See, I'm going to switch shit up all over you. You fucking have no idea. Uh, I've seen you answer this kind of question before that I should leave. It's not the right guild for me. Ah, no. No, 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 no. That's not the case. It's not entirely the case. It's a little bit the case, but not entirely. Uh, there's nothing uncommon about guilds stopping raiding weeks ago, months ago, when Diablo 3 came out. Masses of guilds just stopped raiding. They didn't give a shit about Dragon Soul. They didn't give a fuck anymore. There are very few guilds who are still actively progressing. <coughs> it's just not the case anymore. So that in itself is nothing to really worry about. Don't worry that the guild has stopped raiding. It's pretty normal. It's fine. The new talents are coming out very soon. We've already got the background downloader downloading the new talents. So we're going to get that patch in probably two weeks. And then the arena season is going to close. People will just be playing around with the new talents. Then they will probably put a raid together just to take the piss and try out all the new stuff. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. If you're in a guild right now that's just stopped raiding, you're lucky to have made it this far. You really are. Uh, it's pretty normal to stop raiding now. The issue is, is that your player, your play, has gone beyond those players. That's your issue. The fact they stopped raiding is not really an issue. It's great that you've still got the motivation to raid. That's brilliant. It's just at the wrong time, unfortunately. You need that motivation in about uh, September 29th or 30th. Something like that. that that's when that motivation is going to be really good. Uh, that Then you need it then. You don't need it right now, unfortunately. Uh, trying to push people to raid now isn't a great idea. A lot of guilds who try and force progression on people now, just for an expansion, their guild collapses under its own weight. Really bad idea. Uh, what you need to do, what would I do? I'd stick around. I really would. I'd take in the rest of the game. I'd soak up the rest of Cataclysm. Anything you've missed, uh, now you're a better player. Perhaps you can do a lot more things. As a hunter, you can go and solo some stuff. There's all kinds of crazy things you can be doing with your time right now that isn't related to raiding. Save that motivation. Save it. Let it build up like a fire. Hmm. And then uh, around about September, after the 25th, about a week or so after, then start kicking some ass. Because people will come back to the game. It'll be all fresh and new. It's like that fresh pair of underwear, you know? You've been wearing your underwear for like four days straight. You kind of smell like a dog. And then you pull out some fresh underwear. And it's like, oh, baby, that shit's good. That's what you want. That's the what you're really after. That's the crux of it. <coughs> My throat is terrible. I'm really apologizing. Um, stick around. Oh, this is the question. Without them, I might still be a really bad player. Didn't you say you got it from my video? Ching. Uh, in terms of improving your own play, at best this guild told you to watch some YouTube videos. That's not a massive amount of help, really. I can get that advice in a looking for raid, you know? I really can. If someone says you should watch some YouTube videos, that's not a massive amount of help. They did point you to a Swifty PvP video. That's actually, like, detrimental, dude. That's not, that's not helping you. Watching a guy who's barely played Hunters teach you about hunters this isn't the greatest idea you know <laughs> it's not the greatest idea in the world um so he didn't do that they didn't do that much for you don't think that they really really helped you they didn't they didn't they told you to watch some youtube videos that's not a lot of help it's not like one of their hunters or someone like that was like hey dude i've practiced on a hunter a lot let's get near a training dummy and just work a few things out that didn't happen they told you to go take your own ass over to youtube and type in bm hunter it's not a great deal of help so don't feel attached to that guild. I would stick with them. See how things play out in Mr. Pandaria. Because what happens... Maybe I should do a video on this as well. Of what's going to happen. A lot of new players find my channel. Um, is you have this weird period where Mr. Pandaria launches. Certain players you thought were going to play just don't log in. They just, don't, they just disappear off the face of the earth. It's really weird. It's like that film The Happening. But better. Because that film's fucking shit. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's not involved. Which is always a good thing, right? Uh, they're like, Mr. Pandaria launches, and then people just vanish off the face of the earth. It's like some weird disease just broke out, and they're all like, Ugh, and they just fucking disappear off the way of the universe. Uh, and then people who you've never heard of suddenly just log in. These names just fucking appear. 
like on your guild list. It happened to me in like guilds I've been in for like a year. Randomly, these names I'd never heard of, and everyone was chatting to them like they were best friends. It was like, hey, dude, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck are you? You know, <laughs> what's going on? This guy, oh, this guy's really good. He's going to be one of our top raiders. And they turn out to suck. It, all sorts of weird, crazy things happen. These players who had like a bit of legend around them turn out to be really shit now. Uh, can't cope with the changes. They haven't played in long enough. Their fingers are all hammed up, you know. Um, and spots open up. The guild might collapse. It could happen. It happens a lot at the beginning of an expansion. They try and be a raid guild, and especially a 10 man. You lose three or four key players of a 10 man, you're in a whole world of hurt, and people just disperse everywhere. Uh, people leave very quickly. But also, because of that, lots of guilds recruit just after the beginning of Miss Pandora. Especially about a month in, you'll start to see tons of recruitment threads opening up because people aren't happy with the game in general. They're not happy with how it's playing. They just don't like the new feel of their class. Uh, it could be a million, myriad of things people just don't like about Mr. Pandaria. Just as it happened with Cataclysm, just as it happened with Wrath of the Lich King. They just didn't like it. That's cool, that's alright. It's still a game at the end of the day. If you don't like the game, you're not committed to play. You're not committed to your guild like a fucking contract. You can tell them to leave. You can leave at any time. Um, so, yeah, just hang out. <clears throat> With my advice, just chill out. There's nothing wrong with stopping raiding. You don't owe this guild anything. Relax. Take in the rest of the game. Let's take some questions from the heroes. <coughs> oh, man, I'm so sorry about the coughing. I know it's gross. I need a cough button. Questions, 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 questions. I've been in three raid guilds that collapsed within two weeks of me joining. Are you spotting a theme? Just saying. Just saying. Are you spotting a theme? <laughs> uh, Preach, I joined this, this guild with the same night I... Uh, and the same night I joined, I got into the heroic raid team as main tank. Wow, they must have been fucking desperate, dude. And now I help them to get four out of eight heroic. <sighs> Before I read the rest of your question, you didn't help them. <laughs> Everybody in that raid team helped each other, okay? Um, try to not think that you were like the uh, the boost. It helps you long term. Even though it might be true, just try not to think that way. Uh, it'll help you in the long term. Uh, and now with Mr. Perra six weeks away, I want to try to motivate them for raids. Hard job, dude, hard job. But the guild master is lukewarm. Uh, on a meeting and half uh, for it what can I do to try and make them more motivated hmm what can you do to motivate people motivating people is a really hard thing to do I try and do it a lot I tried to motivate ghost on Saturday for the web show and he went to sleep on my couch it's not always an easy thing to do it's not always an easy thing to do um, <coughs> the problem in World of Warcraft is not only do we all come from all different backgrounds and ways of life uh, in general we all have different feelings about why we play the game everybody plays the game for a totally different reason some people use it to hide from real life that's true some people do it because they love raiding some people do it because they love all the game because of this because of that blah, 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 blah. it's all different shit um, you can't force people to want to raid you can't do it uh, in fact the more you push people the, the worse it tends to get um, the more you push and push someone to try and motivate them, uh, they tend to be less and less motivated. Uh, the abrupt thing is, I can tell you how it happens in Method. How about that? Sometimes people just stop showing up. Happened recently with one of our Resto Druids. Everyone liked him, good friend, been to all the raids. I never really got on him. I was very new to the guild, so I can't say much about him personally. And he just disappeared when the Mr. Pandaria beta started. Uh, he just disappeared off the face of the earth. So, poof, the happening all over again. Uh, and he just lost the motivation to raid. I can tell you now, nobody tried to encourage him. Can't do it. You just cannot do it. Ultimately, you're probably going to end up leaving the guild unless that motivation comes from themselves. The only motivation to play World of Warcraft, because there is no consequence of not turning up besides getting kicked from a virtual guild, ain't that bad. is isn't the worst thing in the world. At the end of the day, they're in their own home, in the safety of their own home. Nothing can fucking happen. Nothing will happen. If they don't want to raid anymore, they just won't log in. Simple as that. <coughs> it's not like with work, where you can give some incentive. Like, hey, you know what? If you achieve this, we'll up your pay. Or you can take an extra couple of holidays. Do all that kind of stuff. It's just the way it is. I wouldn't try and make anybody do anything, because that never works out. People get angry about it. Get, people get pissed off. I'd just wait and see what happens. And if it doesn't pay off, then you do what we've said in the past, which is you open and say, guys, 
Um, I don't feel there's a big motivation in the guild to raid. Therefore, I'm going to look for a guild who wants to progress and wants to do stuff. I don't want to be in the middle ground. I feel I want more. I'm thirsty for more. I'm motivated to do more than what this guild is ready to do. And you move on. That's how it rolls. Questions, 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 questions. Hudser is noob friendly, no skill cap. Uh, no. Wrong! Wrong! Hunters are really difficult to play, especially in PvP. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm a druid tank, as my name suggests, and I saw your video and said rage, and you said rage was a problem. Is there any news of changes at 90? Will we really have to drop Maul for savage defense? Something's really wrong with Maul at the moment. Um, <coughs> um, uh, so far, the druids seem fine. Zakal, uh, Zafrel druid, he's tanking a lot. He's not doing too much tanking now. It's in 25 man, but he never complained about rage or anything like that. Just that Maul's a bit iffy. Uh, just that's all. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the guy, I wasn't moaning at you. I was just saying, you know, you have to. When you think, if you just don't think that you help someone, it's okay to type that out to get your message across. Because obviously, I don't think you're a native Englishman. Uh, that's fine. Just make sure anybody, it's for anybody in the chat. When I answer these questions, I hope that a, a thousand people hear it who have a similar problem, and just never believe that you're doing that. Uh, I want to know what you think is the most noob-friendly class, such as monk. Is it what people expected, or is it a letdown? Well, lucky you should say that because checks his video manager. Checks his video manager. Wait for it. Uh, it's out. Only 148 people have seen it, but my first monk class overview is uploaded. It's just uploaded. Just uploaded. So it's on 148 views right now. So it's just there. So you can go and get my thoughts from there. <coughs> Boop. Awesome. Uh, da, 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 look at all these. Ah, psh. Wow. New expansion is a journey. <laughs> we want to see World of Warcraft a journey, don't we? <clears throat> Any more questions before we call it off for the day? Are you doing workshops still? Yes, I am. Uh, but the timing is all kinds of fucked up. Uh, I am still doing workshops. But let's look at it this way. I'm only in the country now till maybe Thursday, maybe Wednesday, depending. I might have to go earlier before everybody else. Ooh, uh, which is a little bit scary. But some things have come up that I might need to go early so I can attend certain things that I can't really talk about yet. But if I do, then you'll hear about it and there'll be a video and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I might need to go early. Uh, when we get back, it's the one-year anniversary of the week after. So the workshops are at least three weeks away, dude. Three weeks away, which kind of sucks. <coughs> oh my god. Hey, Preacher, I'm currently in the two raiding... I'm currently two raiding guilds. Nerd. Fucking nerd. Uh, which are both 8 out of 8 heroic. Nerd. Uh, one of which is going 25, man. The thing is, the team which is going 25, man, is currently a very top 1,000... Is very good. Top 1,000 in the world. But for my alt 25 runs, people coming in that first team are shit. Uh, but with the other team, two people are currently being carried. What do I pick? Well, now you've realised that there's no such thing as a fucking perfect world. Am I right? Am I right, players? Uh, no, there's no such thing as a perfect world. It doesn't really matter either way. It doesn't really matter. All you can say is some people will get better. That's all you can say. Some people will get better. Uh, people who are being carried. I would tend to go away from where people are being carried. Because uh, people who are being carried tend to not need to get better. There's no motivation there for them to get better. Just something to bear in mind. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't tell you my questions for the Raids and Dungeons panel. Then how would I make a video of it? Psh, come on. <coughs> you should do shoot a story time? Come on. Before I leave? Are you mad? Do you know what my week's looking like? My God. Do you know how many videos I have to produce this week to make sure this video's coming out? Remember, I... This is my job. I need to make sure that things happen while I'm away. Uh, <laughs> what is my favourite mop area? That's a cool question. Um, the game really changed for me, Mr. Pandaria, when I hit Kunlai Summit. Now, I don't know it's because, if that's because uh, the Jade Forest and the Valley of the Four Winds and that other place that's below Valley of the Four Winds that I actually thought was Valley of the Four Winds, but apparently it's a different zone entirely. Uh, they're really shit zones. They're like awful, really bad. Um, and then I hit Kunlai Summit and I felt like I was playing WoW again. It, I, I'm not even joking. I can't even explain to you that the Jade Forest, Valley of the Four Winds and that zone below it, it felt like I was playing vanilla WoW. It was that bad. It was such, such poor design. It was awful. Oh my god, it made me feel sick. It felt like I was playing the game from fucking five, six years ago when questing was atrocious. <coughs> uh, when I hit Kunlai Summit... I, I felt like I was playing WoW again. I really got involved. I enjoyed it. It was brilliant. It was really good fun. There was temples. There was shit to do. I was all over the place. I was doing sort of fun events. I got really involved then. Um, 
And the next zone after it, I think it, I live streamed me leveling, my leveling to 90. And the people who watched it saw that I didn't take much note of that other zone. I think it's Taolong Forest or Taolong Forest, something like that. <coughs> uh, purely because I desperately needed to get to 90. We were raiding that day. They just randomly announced that there was raid testing. So I didn't take that zone in. I'll give you a better impression of what I think about the zones when I come back. I know, I want to buy a cough button myself, man. My throat is getting so much uh, worse. Mmm. <clears throat> uh, 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 last question. Well, two questions. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, when's the next game review coming? It will be after Germany. This week is just crazy Germany stuff. I will... T what, which one do you want to see? Bear with me a sec. Bear with me a sec. Let's take a quick poll in the chat. We've got uh, well over 100 people. Throat is even... Well, I've got pills and stuff, but... Um, I'm sort of talking all day as well, which isn't helping. <coughs> it's kind of hard to do my job without your throat, you know? <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I need to do is talk a lot. It'd be, uh, be a crazy little daily if I sat here in silence. Right, let's have a look. Do you want Dead Space 2, Fallout 3, uh, Rage, uh, what was the other one I had? Max Payne 3... Bullet Storm, uh, and one other one. Okay, now I've got so many shit games on my Steam account. My God, uh, which ones I interested in? I only want to do ones that I'm actually interested in, if that makes sense. Uh, uh, because I can't make them funny or interesting if I'm not interested. That would make no sense. Let's just leave it at those for now. What do you think? Whoa, yeah, Clop. Fuck you. I ain't playing Clop. Ooh, Diablo 3, no, no, wrong, Diablo 3 is no, Hell Kitty Online, do you Max Payne, World of Warcraft here, yeah. Max Payne, Rage, Fallout 3, people know, uh, need to know about it, uh, Dead Space 2, Max Payne, GTA, I'm not bad, oh, GTA is on my other, that game, Gamers Gate, Ugh. uh, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 2, you want the sequel, okay, Rage, Fallout, 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 Paperboy, I fucking love Paperboy, Firefall, I haven't got Firefall, I could buy it I suppose, not after I finish all the other ones though, uh, Ox Must Die is done, uh, I've been rendering those all day, okay, well leave it in the YouTube comments as well and we'll see what people think, uh, any more WoW related questions before I go, mm -mm -mm -mm. oh, um, yeah you've been asking about, oh, okay so on the, um, the web show I mentioned getting you guys involved in the Wave of the Warrior 2, I've kind of gone a little bit Chris Nolan on this one, I think. Uh, I had various ideas about how to do this video. There are certain aspects that I don't think will be relevant. And maybe they are, maybe they aren't for this video. One of them is trying to get some sort of ludicrously high arena rating. I don't think that makes a good video. In fact, I've watched, I watched some, as research, I've been doing this today. I've had, if any of you ever see me at an event, and you see this book not in my hands you must collect it and bring it to me immediately it contains my brain that is my brain book uh, this one here this large book this is my brain book um, my brain book contains things like that pages upon pages upon pages and pages this is the rogue video Woo, look at all that this is my brain make sure I have it at all times <laughs> if I lose it I'm pretty fucked so I started uh, penciling in the way of the warrior two and how I want it to play. Um, I could go for I, I watched yeah this is what I was saying I was researching so I went to WarcraftMovies.com. What the hell happened to that fucking site? Seriously, the community is so awful. And I watched what is considered to be five out of five PvP videos. I don't think I've ever been more unimpressed in my whole fucking life. Like, if that video, those videos were out on YouTube, they would just be panned. Like, instantly panned. Um, there's a huge problem with WoW PvP in that only a certain dedicated uh, few actually recognize really good play. And those that do tend to be real mega nerds, like turbo nerds who want to pick fault in everything. It's not how I roll anymore, I don't. Um, yeah, that site is so bad. So bad. Yeah, I've seen Bajira's video. I'm never impressed by Bajira's video either. Um, I think he did, uh, like the most recent one I saw of Bajira's videos, not that he's a bad player or not entertaining, but the videos themselves just really don't impress me. One of them was about his 
I win macro, which I think appeals to a really a vast, but an audience that I do not want to appeal to. I, it, 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 that kind of stuff appeals to people who want a one-shot macro. I don't want a fucking one-shot macro. And his one-shot macro was just a standard PvE macro. It was something I would you could pick up in two seconds. It was blow all your cooldowns. There's a whole video, and like 300,000 people watched it or something. I was like, dude, really? Do you want me to put shit like that out on the internet? No, man, no. Um, not to slag him off. That's his, That's what his audience loves and his audience craves, man. Uh, that's his own thing. But for me, that's not what my channel is ever about. Uh, One-shot macros don't appeal to me and making big... He does that voice and stuff. I don't want that kind of audience. I've said this in the past. I don't want that kind of audience. So how will the Way of the Warrior 2 work? Because obviously I will go for a reasonably high arena rating to get good games. I care about the footage. I don't care about saying this guy has blah 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 MMR. Bored to fucking death before I even fucking, you know, put that in text. Big lies. 2,900 MMR. I couldn't give a shit unless it looks good. And in fact, most really, really high-end arena games look really boring. There's a lot of CC. There's a lot of, like cat and mouse trying to line things up and stuff like that it's fucking boring when you get uh, you know there's the side aspect of that where you uh, blow people up and people get more interested in that so and I went, I've gone a little bit Chris Nolan on it uh, and I've started jotting down because it's going to be called The Way of the Warrior 2 The Journey which I think is apt considering the last six months or so of, of Preach Gaming um, and it's going to actually be more of a, a movie that is are based around PvP and contains a lot of PvP. It's still a PvP video, but it's also going to have my current stake in it. You've got to remember when I made the Way of the Warrior one, I was much younger, uh, and it was like 2006. So it was like six years ago I made that movie. I think it was 2006, so six years ago. And in then, I developed a whole different style of what I enjoy about the game and what I especially enjoy about creating videos. In which case, I uh, I want to make it in the newer style. So it's got, I need your help, especially. We're going to set up some scenes, but I need to write the journey in my book, and then we need to start filming it. I'm so happy Stefan's here on Thursday. Like Having Stefan's brain, who knows how to make things happen on the screen, is just fabulous. It's like, Stefan, how do I make this happen? The countdown for the 10,000 subscriber show, I have no idea how to do that. He did it in five minutes. I mean, it's not like fucking worthy of like a million dollars but they have like six months to make the massive countdowns stefan had 10 minutes and he whipped it up <coughs> so i've started writing it i've I kind of taken inspiration from things like conan the original conan film uh and gladiator no russell crowe so you got arnie russell crowe what a good fucking combo right um also, a, a little bit, uh, not elements from The Dark Knight Rises, but a sort of story feel of The Dark Knight Rises. I, you know, you've all seen my thoughts on The Dark Knight Rises, but there's certain elements I really liked. So I'm kind of mixing that in into, instead of me showing a clip of Alterec Valley, perhaps, there's a reason I need to go into Alterec Valley. Do you get what I mean? I need to defeat Stormpike, and then I can make it into an epic battle. Alterec Valley has 40 on 40 people. There is no way in hell Alteric Valley should just be one guy with a million healers just poning noobs. There should be footage going on there of a fucking huge war. Um, because that's what's supposed to happen in Alteric Valley. And if I can capture that and turn it into a story, it's so much more entertaining. It's so much better. And this is what I was trying... We had a Skype discussion about this with the guys. And they were like, well, what are we going to do for Way Warrior 2? And I was like, it needs to be big. And that's a bold thing to say. Is it needs to be big. And then I started drumming around, and I was thinking, and I was jotting things down. I was like, that could be cool, that could be cool, but how do I link that to that? And this is, how, this is what I do most of the day, to try and create something good. And I kind of linked into, why do people just show them with loads of berserker buffs? We've seen that a million times. The way of the Warrior 2 should be different. And now I'm building it up so much that the actual result will be terrible. Uh, but one of the things we want to do is definitely get the subscribers involved. Because what I have over most of the guys releasing PvP videos, and what I didn't have when I made The Way of Warrior 1 is I've got 16,000 gangsters behind me. That's a lot of gangsters. There's a fuckload of gangsters who can get involved, and we could pull off some pretty creative shit with 16,000 gangsters. Even if a tenth of those people show up, we got some fucking gangsters ready to roll, am I right? Am I fucking right, ballers? Yeah, you fucking know it. 
So that's what I, I'm planning it out, but I'll talk more. I don't have a great deal of time to create it. So we'll be talking and talking. Do it Mad Max style. Uh, the, it needs to be in the setting of World of Warcraft, you know? It needs to be in the setting of World of Warcraft. So with 16,000... If, if I could create the Way of the Warrior 1, which got nearly a million views with me and Ghost, imagine what I could do with 16,000 gangsters and the creative mind. I don't think people are anywhere near as creative as they used to be. The best vi PvP videos to this day are still regarded. Zalgradis 3. Watch that video, it's a story. His links to the PvP make complete sense. Grim was a story. My video was kind of a story. We had the passageway through 3v3 into the battlegrounds and then we had some PvE mixed in there and then we brought it back to the high end towards the end. It's like a crescendo. Um, and it wasn't the best. I'm not the best, but what I can do is create some pretty epic stuff and use the team and get the ballers involved. Uh, sorry you're late, Dlo, uh, but we will be doing some stuff there. So I'm going to call it there, guys, because I've got to raid in about 25 minutes. Start the video with the Are You Not Entertained? That's a bit of a, an anti-climax before we even start the video. Uh, but the video needs to come after the way of the Warrior 1. It needs to make sense why he's returning and then he, why he has to go on a journey, you know? So stay tuned for that. More StarCraft 2. Uh, I have dropped off the StarCraft 2 stuff. It wasn't overly popular, uh, I've got to say. I have to be very wary about throwing time into something that's... Uh, especially while we're, you know, building the channel. The stuff that's not exactly earning anything and isn't exactly popular. Uh, let me check the StarCraft 2. Yeah, less than a thousand views. Uh, 21 thumbs up. Well, my average videos are about, what, 100 or something thumbs up. It's 21. It's kind of a fifth popular. Uh, so I'm very worried about that. <laughs> the two videos I've uploaded today have more thumbs up than that video. So, all right, ballers. Uh, yeah, I know lots of people will help. We will, we will talk about the way the worry to when I have written it. All right. So have a good day, ballers, and I will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.